Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you something I found really interesting really, really quickly. So last night my scaleless corn snake shed her skin and I thought I'd just show you the difference between a scaleless shed and a normal scaled corn snake's shed. So the top shed here is from the normal scaled snake. So you can see on the back is the individual little pockets that were the skin over each individual scale. And on the belly, you can see that the belly is made up of large single scales going lengthways along the body. Whereas on the scaleless snake, the back of it is mostly smooth. There's no little bubble wrap looking pieces of the normal scaled snake, aside from these little tiny scales on the side. And on the belly, it starts out the same as the normal scaled snake with the large individual scales going across, but eventually it actually splits into two and then four scales on the belly instead. So not all scaleless corn snakes are going to have this, but it's not uncommon at all either. So just in comparison, the normal scaled snake has single belly pieces that they use for their movement, whereas the scaleless have got like smaller individual ones in this case. When she was shedding, it was very difficult to actually get the shed off her in one piece, which is why there's little rips in it and why I only have the back half of it. But I did my best. And if your scaleless is shedding, the skin is very, very delicate. So if you're ever trying to get a scaleless uh, shed off your snake, just be super, super gentle with it and make sure to lay it out nice and flat when it's drying so that you can keep it. So that's it for today. I just want to show you that real quick. So um, yeah, there's a scaleless versus scaled shed on a corn snake and uh, have a good day.